All right, here's some tips on pulls. All right, number one tip with your pull is you're going to have people over. You're going to have kids, birthday parties, cookouts, whatever you're going to have. So the number one tip is have at least a couple sides of your pool with a large space of concrete. You can add a deck after, you can do something like that, but plan on having some type of large area next to your pool that will accommodate people sitting. Try not to let it be grass. All right, that's tip number one. All right, tip number two is, you're gonna be around your pool at night, it's gonna be dark. The outside lights are, when I say outside lights, I mean those right there. Mine are on. Those can be overbearing. So plan on having some type of lighting that you can control the uh, the intensity of, or that's not so uh, not so in your face. So plan on having some type of lighting. I have poles around mine. All right. Tip number three is you're gonna want to get to your pool if it's not next to your house. And you're going to want to get to it from a door of your house. As the pool is being built, have a plan to have some way to get from your door to your pool without dragging mud in your house. I don't know why that's overlooked so often, but it's overlooked quite often. So that's tip number three. Alright, tip number four is, whatever you have around your pool will end up in your pool. That's just the way it goes. So, I weed eat around my pool. It would probably be better if I had a barrier of rocks or something to extend that out a little bit, but I suffer with the fact that I, as I weed eat, and you can see there, whatever I have around my pool, I, I get in my pool. Because I weed eat the other day, or yesterday, I need to clean my pool this morning. It's just the way it works. Tip number four. Alright, tip number five is you can see all these chairs. This is where we sit normally when we're around the pool. Do you hear that pump running? Can you hear that? I can hear it a little bit. Now imagine if that pump was sitting right here or right there. That pump's loud. You don't want that pump next to your pool. So many pools I see, the pump is right next to the concrete and where everybody sits. That's terrible for two reasons. One, pipe is cheap. I can run a lot of pipe from over there to over here a lot more than I can run a nice electric line from a panel all the way over to wherever you have your pump sitting. Don't sit your pump next to your pool. Don't sit your pump next to where you're going to be sitting for sure. I have two air conditioning units at and I have my pump over there next to them. And I have a panel for my pump over there. It's cheaper to do that than it is to have your pump next next to your pool. Another thing that, since I have it over there, I have, my, I have a separate sub-panel for my pump. I also have a separate sub-panel for receptacles. Here you go. My lights. My light in my pool. Now I have other receptacles around the pool. Don't set your pump next to your pool. Tip number five. All right, tip number six is going to be this. Prepare a place to have your pump. Before the pool is done. Have this done. Okay, so tip number six, have a place prepared for your pump to sit. It's fantastic. And you can see my pipe come up, comes up inside of my platform. That way I don't have to weed eat around pipe. All right. I'm going to move right on to tip number seven. You are going to have to clean the sand in this filter eventually. Something's going to go wrong. You're going to have to replace your valve. You're going to have to replace your pump. You're going to have to replace the motor. Something's going to happen. And you're going to have to disconnect this from your filter your pump from your system 
do not let your guy put this plumbing in here without having unions on it so that you can separate everything. I could take this head off by disconnecting my unions. I could take my pump out by disconnecting my unions. And I don't have to cut the plumbing or anything. I just unscrew it and remove it. So there you go. Don't let your pool guy that installs your pump not put in unions. Tip number seven. All right. <clears throat> Tip number eight is, is about this, backwash. If you don't have experience with the pool, then you, you may not know this when they install it, but you will find out shortly thereafter that you have to backwash your filter to clean it out. When you backwash, uh, I'm sorry, when you backwash your pool, that water has to go somewhere. A lot of times what they give you is a flexible hose that you roll up and unroll every time you use it, and that water's gonna go somewhere nearby because that pipe is only so long. I have plumbed my backwash over into those wood, over just below that oak tree there. There's a live oak tree there. Right below it, my backwash it comes out right there. It doesn't come out next to here and make a mess and I don't have to unroll or roll a hose. So, tip number eight, plumb your backwash where you want your backwash water to end up. Tip number nine, you're gonna have the skimmer, which I have turned off. And then you're gonna have the suction from the bottom of the pool. Initially when this was installed, I didn't have valves. I installed these valves so that I could isolate one or the other. If I wanted to change my skimmer without running that, without turning my pump off, I just come over here, turn off my skimmer, clean it out, put it back in, turn this on. These valves, they, they become useful. You have an emergency and your someone gets stuck on their suction for whatever reason, they shouldn't because there's two of them. You can come over here, you can turn this off real quick and it'll stop the suction. Of course you can turn the pump off but you know we're not talking about that all right that's tip number nine put valves in to isolate your your uh, suction lines all right quick number tip 10 i think the best way to keep your pool clean as of today is a salt system if you have if you're going to install a salt system put unions in to be able to take your salt your uh yeah i'm drawing a blank here you take your cell, your salt cell, you got to take it out and clean it every now and then. Well, you can't take it out and clean it if you don't have a way to take it out without cutting your pipe each time. That's crazy. Put unions in to take your salt cell out. So that's my salt cell right there. I have a Hayward. Tip number 10. Best way to clean the pool is a salt system. Okay, so what that brings me to is, as, a, as an additional part of tip 10, panel feeds a timer my timer controls when my pool is on and off if my pumps not running I don't want my salt cell generating so I have my pump off of my timer also have my salt cell off my timer the other thing that I have is a switch here that I can turn my pump on and off so that I can backwash and rinse things like that if I turn that pump off I also, I also have to turn this off so I have the timer controls the power to my switch switch controls the power to my pump and my salt cell so don't use your circuit breaker to turn all this off because it kills it messes up the time on your timer because you set your timer according to time uh, to the time of day so use a switch after your timer to turn the power to your pump and your salt cell off. Don't use your circuit breaker, if, especially if you're using a timer because it messes up the time on the timer. Uh, so there, it's kind of a big tip 10, but tip number 10. All right, my final tip is this. We've got a ladder, I've got a handrail. I have a pool cover, buy something 
to stick your pool stuff in. You got a hose, you got everything else. Uh, this is just for this is just for cushions for chairs. This is have something to stick your vacuum, your nets, your brushes, your pool cover in, and then something to when you take it out to use your brush, use your pool cover and all that stuff during the in, in the winter. Your pool cover is on your pool. Have a place to put your ladder, your handrails, or whatever else you have. This may not be big enough for you because I only have one pool ladder and one handrail and it barely fits in there, but I do get it in there. So there you go. Pool tips that I thought I'd share that I kind of figured out along the way and I, just by seeing different pools. But there it is. Enjoy. Uh, if you don't mind, hit that share and like. Subscribe, whatever you got to do. All right, thank you.